Buenos días tengan todos ustedes. Embajador Lighthizer, ministra Cristia Freeland. Quiero iniciar mis primeras palabras en español para reconocer la presencia de las delegaciones de los tres países. A los negociadores mexicanos los acompaña un grupo importante del eh, sector privado mexicano, stakeholders de México, y sobre todo un grupo de senadores que representan a todos los partidos políticos, los más grandes partidos políticos en el Senado de la República. Creo que este va a ser un proceso transparente, que nos acompañará a través de todo el proceso de negociaciones, porque hoy, sin duda, una parte importante es compartir los avances en negociaciones internacionales. Gracias a los miembros de la prensa por acompañarnos el día de hoy. Since its enforcement, NAFTA has been more than a trade agreement. It had made us think of ourselves as a region. By means of NAFTA, we advance from only sharing the geography to shaping a common vision of North America. We have walked a long way over the two decades, and right now, despite our success, we have to ask ourselves if this model of integration responds to today's reality. So, here we are, once again, as we did back in 1991, face to face, willing to renew our, our North American partnership. The process we begin today is not about going back to the past, but is looking into the future. Mexico believes that NAFTA has been a strong success for all parties, and we also agree that there is room for modernization in order to make this agreement even more successful. The issue is not tearing apart what, we ha what it has worked, but rather how we can make our agreement work better. The issue is not tearing apart what has worked. And as Ambassador Lighthizer said in a hearing with the Ways and Means Committee just a couple of months ago, and I quote him, our objective is to have more trade, no less trade, and our objective is to first of all do no harm, end of quote. For a deal to be successful, it has to work for all parties involved, otherwise it's not a deal. Mexico is committed to obtain a win-win-win for all three countries. Mexico comes to this negotiation to play a constructive and proactive role with a commitment to advance our interests and goals without risking what we have achieved as a region. From Mexico's perspective, we should look into the future by making sure that this negotiation process achieves the following objectives. Strengthen North American competitiveness, advance towards a more inclusive regional trade, take advantage of the 21st century economy so we can embrace innovation and not stop innovation, and promote certainty for trade and investment in North America. Two decades ago, we were pioneers in shaping an agreement to change the international architecture of trade. This time, we have the chance to be pioneers again, reshaping the way we interact, redefining our region, reinventing ourselves to make a positive contribution to the international trading system. Let's not be mistaken. The first challenge that we have is to find a common ground between the interests of the three countries. And that can be a difficult process, no question. But I'm convinced that the potential benefit for the U.S., Canada, and Mexico are worth this and any other effort we can make for the good of North America. I believe it is in the best interest of the two economies to move fast forward, taking fully into consideration the substance and the content of the negotiations. On Mexico's behalf, I'm here to once more offer my country's disposition to work seriously and constructively to take NAFTA into the 21st century, and more importantly, to build upon the origi original NAFTA achievements for a more prosperous North America. Thank you all.